This is Marshall Jones with Family Fellowship of Martial Arts, and today we're going to be learning how to train martial arts for kids. Today we want to first start off with is your stretching. You want to start off with your legs together, your toes towards the ceiling, and down, either touching your toes, or if you can't touch your toes, touch your ankles. Hold for eight seconds, and then switch up, and we're going to move on to a different stretch. The next stretch, you want to take your right leg inside, pull your foot inside your thigh, keeping your toes towards the ceiling and your knees straight. Hold with both of your hands for eight seconds, either touching your toes or touching your ankle. And then once you're done with your left side, switch up and work on your right side. Then next, we're going to work on your midsection. This is the most important stretch. You're stretching out your hips. You're going to rotate your hips for eight seconds in one direction, and once you're done with that, you're gonna switch up and work the other side too as well. The next, we're gonna move up upstairs and work your arms and work your shoulders. We're gonna rotate your shoulders forwards for eight seconds, and once you have done this for eight seconds, you're gonna switch and work the other direction. And the last part of your stretching is we're gonna work on your neck, rotating your neck around in a circle for eight seconds, and once you're done with that, switch and work the other side. And once you have done a full good stretch where your muscles is loose and you feel comfortable, now we're going to move on to your punching and your kicking. Now with your punching and your kicking, we're going to start off with your punch, with your basic jab, which you're going to use 99% of the time. Your basic jab is going to start off with you're going to step out with your, with your legs slightly and then follow up with your jab, which is your front arm. You're going to aim with your two front knuckles, keeping your wrists straight and your elbows straight. And once you're done, you're going to pull it back. And now in real time speed, stepping out and punching. Once you have done this with several reps, developing your technique first of all, and second of all, developing your rhythm, and third, developing your timing. Moving on with your reverse punch. Reverse punch, you're not going to step out. All you're going to do is just twist your hips, rotate, and punch. Make sure that you're still aiming with your front two knuckles and keeping your elbow and your wrist straight. And back again. Now in real time speed and go. Now once you have done that, so you have done your jab and your reverse, working your right arm and your left arm, now you can put it in combinations. Working on your jab and working on your rhythm, developing time, rhythm, speed, and also technique. And go. Good, and as you see, he's working on his rhythm too. Yep. Good. And now once you have done several reps on your punching, your jab and reverse, now let's work downstairs and work your basic kick and your basic roundhouse kick. Your basic roundhouse kick is gonna start off with three steps. The first step, you're gonna turn your front leg. Second, you're gonna raise your knee and you're gonna extend out your leg. And then you're gonna bring it back to your fighting stance that you started off in. And now again, in real time speed, Good. And once you have done this, several reps with your left leg, you're going to switch up and you're going to go with your right leg. And once you have done your roundhouse kick, then you can put it in combination, adding your jab, reverse, and follow up with your roundhouse kick. And put it in combination. Good. This is Marshall Jones with Family Fellowship Martial Arts, and this is how to train martial arts for kids.